Generic greetings and welcome back to Tactical Breach Wizards. Today's beverage is a very nice cranberry juice with a hint of lime. So welcome back to Tactical Breach Wizards. In a previous video, we were smashing up some sentry turrets in order to break out another character, specifically Banks here, who is a necromedic who heals by killing. So yeah, it's 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 full on tactical breach wizards, and you can pretty much expect that throughout the entire game. Anyway, this is another little look at the game where we're going to be taking on, well, it's um it's a siege cleric, and it's in a big warframe type thing, and I've never versed it, so this is going to be quite interesting. Just a bit of forewarning and a sort of uh, heads up: there will be some spoilers in this one. It is a story-driven game, and one of the downsides of trying to feature things like this is to try and avoid spoilers, but while still keeping with the context. Basically, I'm gonna have to shatter that a little bit and well I guess if you're still watching then you've already accepted those terms and conditions so we're trying to stop a war and this is in a place called Chapel where we've just released some um, footage onto the live feed about basically their leaders lying to their entire country and we now have to sort of break <laughs> into this place here and uh, make sure the broadcasts keep on going that's the sort of, uh, sort of uh, edge notes of it but how we're gonna do this well the goal is to defeat the Siege Cleric, and that's this guy over here. There's also some optional goals, which I'm hoping to get done, but one of them is a bit naughty. So we need to prevent 10 reinforcements in total, so all of these doors here will bring in reinforcements, so we have to close those. That's not in itself quite difficult. We have to deal a total of 10 knockback, cumulative, with another character called a Dahl, which I'll get onto those in a moment. And the difficult one is finished by the end of turn two. What? Uh, so I guess the turn two one is in itself, it seems quite ridiculous. Because if we then defeat the Siege Cleric, that's the only main goal. If we defeat those, but don't seal the doors. Will that fail the reinforcements? I don't know, but we're going to find out. So, what characters we've got so far, we start off with um, Jen here. And actually, no, we're going to start with... Yeah, we'll start, start off with... No, start off with Zan. They were the first character that we uh, ever got. So they are um, they are a what do they call themselves? A Navy Seer. They've got move. They've got shoot. They can boost people. They have a false prophet, which is basically like a hologram type thing. So you can do uh, that. Uh, the reason that exploded is because I placed it on a proximity mine. So it's like a yeah, it's it's like a fake version of themselves. Um, I've leveled them up so that they can actually uh, pick stuff up as well. So false prophet, it's a useful. Uh useful fiction so profit interacts with anything it can so for example if it's next to doors it'll lock doors if it's next to this uh, intel it'll pick that up as well you've also got predictive world which shoots some stuff after that you have uh you've got um jen who is a freelance uh, storm witch and they've got static blast chain bolt gale grenade and a broom breach so they can jump out of a window and come back in any other window so pretty useful but probably not on this map after that we've got the ever useful banks here who is as i said a necro medic and they've got this sedative cocktail so it basically it knocks people back it also poisons them they also can fire a skull called well i call them murray because i like monkey island however i think they're called gary um, yes, they're called Gary, it's even shown on the right. And it basically bounces off walls and causes damage. They can resurrect people, but what they have to do is um, shoot them in the head first, and then they rewind their body by an hour. That's the, um, that's the thing that they have. But you can resurrect friendlies and enemies. Why would you want to do that? Well, sometimes it's just an optional goal. Sometimes it can be useful resurrecting an enemy because they, they're they not on your side. They just attack everything. Um, you've also got Death Star, which literally brings in a portal. And um, you can put people into that. And you can transfer damage. And finally, we have basically a tank in the form of Dahl here. It's a resistance fighter um, in stolen riot priest armor. They can charge around. They can slam they're basically the heavy. Anyway, with all that said and done, let's get breaching and we'll see what we can do here. So in my experience, the positions in which it puts the characters are generally quite optimal. So for example, I can run over to this and I can seal the door, um, which is not a bad start. After that, where do I want to go from here? Well, there is the riot priest there. Uh, the problem with that is if I was to say go here and charge them, it's probably not going to kill them. 
No, it's not going to kill them. And all it's going to do really is push them into a position where I can't knock them out the window. So that doesn't really help me. Um, what might help is if I was to blast them back a little bit. And uh, can I fire through there? I can fire these guys. Oh, actually, let's, um, let's fire with this. There's a bit of lightning. And all it's done really is push this guy back. Done a bit of damage to this tracker and no damage to the cleric. However, we can then bring this character in. This is going to be a bit better now because this guy's going to take more damage. It's going to hit them back there, which is good. I can then charge over here and then I can seal the door. So we've already sealed two doors on this left side, which is pretty good. We've still got other characters. Um, what can I do? I can walk around and I can grab the intel. Always useful. And, I mean, it's easy just to do that. And then false prophet that door. Oh no, see that? The false prophet actually stood on this proximity mine. That's not what I wanted. Um, well, I don't need to seal that door up this turn, do I? Uh, not really. I do still think doing that is the way forward. After that, though, I'm just a bit stuck. So I could bring in this person and spectral skull and that would bounce around I mean I can bounce it and blow that up which doesn't help let's rewind the turn the big selling point with this game in my opinion is the whole rewind turns thing so I can basically just take it as I want and I'm going to kill my own character here or at least do some damage yeah it's not even going to damage it all that uh, cleric um yeah, you try something and then you reverse it, and you basically that is the sort of uh, rinse repeat of the game. And as long as you take it on board, you'll probably do quite well, um, even if you're not a big fan of the genre. So moving closer will not help. I genuinely don't know how I would take out this riot priest. Sealing those two doors was pretty good, but it felt a bit inefficient. Let me just rewind back to the start. Um, so we'll do that. I do still think going in here and sealing that door would be good. Gale Grenade there would be very handy if this guy didn't have knockback resistance in the form of stability. Also, I can't use... What can't I use? I can defuse a mine, but it costs an action there. No. Banks has a sedative cocktail, um, and that gives them stings. Tags take additional damage and knockback. Yeah. Oh yeah, so throw a flask that leaves everyone in a one tile radius sedated, lose one health per turn and an unsteady, plus one incoming knockback. So that would remove that, but that only works if they haven't got their gas mask on, which is shown by these two symbols just above them. Basically, I can't... <laughs> There's not much I can do with that character. Um. Yeah. I don't think I can get them out of that window. Hmm. There's going to be some sort of lateral thing here. Uh, I mean, if I do blast like this, that's just going to cause a bit of damage, right? Nothing really funky. If I was to bring Zan over to here, that might help because he fires. And now they can potentially be knocked back. So I can do sedative cocktail. Then I can do gale grenade and gale grenade again. That seems to be very inefficient for for this sort of thing, doesn't it? And we're burning through. We, we can only use two of those. No, I'm backing that up. That doesn't seem right. Um, although one thing I that's other abilities we can right, let's we can swap. So let's just bring this character in here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bash that character dead. There we go. Uh, and the thing is then we could if we really wanted to bring in banks and then like resurrect them um, so we literally rewind time on their body and they're not friendly but they are confused sees everybody is hostile everybody so they will shoot basically the closest so re resurrecting them wouldn't help although I just saw something this character here there's a, there's a person dead on the floor and that's to do with the story is that Something that I can resurrect. Oh, I can resurrect them. Oh. Right, this feels like what we need to do. Okay. Uh, 
So, how did that not kill me? Bear in mind he was just shot in the head by their own ally. Uh, I did, new job, big mech, kill it. Uh, okay, he's game. Um, can't believe that worked. I'm a people person. So we now have another character. This is Ryan. Uh, Ryan, a hitman of the Druid Mafia. Specializes in subtle poisons, plant magic, and turning into a dog. Okay. So we have an impaling vine. Uh, skew the target with a vine, then pull them towards you by three tiles. Not really useful. Brittling dart. Uh, fires a dart of cursed sap that makes armor and flesh brittle. Target takes increased damage from attacks and slamming into things, and armor is lost like health. Oh. Okay then. Right. That changes things. And rabid bite. Transform into a dog, run around, bite enemy. They become hostile to everybody, ends his turn. Enemies won't attack him until the next one. So. Let's just try. If I move there and go with this dart, then I'll brittle. Uh, steal mana as well. <laughs> Take one mana from an ally you can see. Um, if I was to... Can I go and bite them? Yes, I can. <laughs> All right. That's interesting. Um, hmm. I have a feeling I could probably take this guy. Now that that's happened, what I'm going to have to do is rewind time. Because I think this is all based on them. So let me put this character in a position where I can grab that intel, resurrect that character. There we go. Sadly, we have to go through this again. I know we can skip it. So, right. It's all based on this character, I believe. So I'm going to go there, brittle dart, and I mean, I could bring them closer, but that doesn't help. But just biting them does. Hostile to everybody and ends the turn. Enemies won't attack him until the next turn. So we've already, they've already taken a bit of damage, which is good. I should point out, I can't uh, bring this, I can't have this siege cleric. I can't pull them out of the window, they're too big. Yes, that was my first thought, because if you've played any of the game, you know that that is pretty much the default option. Um, over on the right here, we will breach, and I do think going to this position is where it's at. We'll pick that up. Um, for Zan, we have a different option. Um, you know what I'm going to do? This is probably what I was supposed to do in the first place. I'm going to charge this guy by putting a riot block behind them. Wow, that was good damage. And then we just hit them. Okay. So we've already done 10 knockback out. Uh, sorry, we've done 7 already. And we've taken out that character. This is good. Okay. For this character then, I'm going to come in here. Uh, no. I'm going to come to here. Because I want to shoot, maybe even a bit further back. I want to shoot that guy, who then sets off the mines. They're now dead. Predictive bolt forward to then static blast them in front of it and then kills them. They can then move to here, grab the intel, and then go into base. He starts spamming with this ability to seal the door. And time boost again. And the reason I'm doing this is every time I do it, I gain an, action, an additional move. So I've sealed one, two, three doors already. So I prevented ten reinforcements. So I only need to seal one more door, which I think I can do with banks. Um, can I spectral skull this character? I can but is it worth it? Bear in mind when I was attacking them, I think I wasn't doing any damage. It was, I believe, because it was removing the armor. I could do swap with Zan. That cost mana and that'll be me out of mana, so I can't swap again. Uh, I might as well wait until another turn. Can I pick up my own right block? I can't. Okay. 
Uh, Gale Grenade, I could I could start pushing I could start pushing things around. Wouldn't really help. Basically comes down to banks. And I could sedative cocktail maybe. Did that do anything? No, the gas masked. I mean, we're gonna have to. It's gonna have to be a Gary problem. That's gonna cost the one mana that I have. You know what? I'm gonna use four C. And this is where we, obviously we can check the event log. We've basically went and done this entire sequence now. It feels like that's as about as efficient as I'm gonna get it. Uh, I'm gonna end the turn. So two more reinforcements have been brought in. I will use banks. And she'll take damage. But we'll seal the door. Which means we've now done uh, the reinforcements. That's what we needed to do. The problem is I don't think I can do the knockback. Uh, I can defuse mines. I can't believe just how much this carrot has got. Um... How much mana they've got. Okay. If I get Zan in position, he can shoot. Yes. Banks, I could do a bit of a spectral blast here. Can I get all three things? Because there's a weapons cache there, and when you hit that, I'm going to kill this guy. Oh. Yeah, it just does a bit of damage, right? No, no real point in that one. Um... Ryan, I'm probably just going to take the damage. Oh, actually, if I was to Impaling Vine them, would it help? It's all about trying. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't help. <laughs> Brittling Dart. Ah. I see. Brittling dart. You want to make them as brittle as possible. But I can only steal one mana. Let's just take that damage. And brittle them again. Okay. I'm going to swap with that character. But I'm not going to be able to do the pu I'm not going to be able to do the pushback. Uh, actually, wait. Knock back. Ah, uh, that character has to do it. Shame. Can I... Do anything? I reckon I can kill this character. I reckon it's doable. Like, I'm just gonna try something here. Like, just... Right, so I can I can win the game. I can win the, I can win the level. That is doable. And by definition, I ah yes, I have to seal the remaining doors, which I can do that and kill the character. Impaling vine would not help. Push back. Push back. Cast. But it's knock back with this character that I need. Mm, do they have any actions left? They can swap. But I can't give them extra actions. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> This is a two beverage problem. Okay. Pull that back to the start of the turn. Start the turn. So, two enemies, these two here. If I was to get this character to there, I could charge and... Oh, I could charge and win that way. Ah. Ah. 
Okay, so the character would be there. I then need to be able to hit this guy, so if I use the Impaling Vine, that would work out too. Oh, I think there's a sequence here. So I'm going to grab the intel, a brittling dart back character. No, back it up. This is, like I said, the, the big, big, big selling point with the game. Use the ability, and then back it up. Like I said, I'm just, I'm, I'm doing it in the sequence that I want. Uh, that was cover. No, grab intel. Steel mana. Gen. Brittle. Brittle. Um, banks to here. Dahl to there. Mm, ah, the problem is then banks can't do anything. Uh, spectral skull. Which is going to be interesting because it's actually going to hit this character twice. Perfect. Dahl. Swappage. Chargington. Don't care that hit the mine. Done. Sensor slam. Done. But. Can I seal the doors? I don't think I can. Because I've got no movement. Unless we go here. Broom. Um, Sonic Blast that. Go there. Seal the door. Then there's this all the way over here. Zan. Cannot help. I don't know why the stats is over there as well. Hmm. Gale Grenade. Blowing that up does not help. Is there a sequence? That, that feels like there's a sequence. Because <laughs> if I foresee, that's just going to blow up. I need to take out the enemies and seal the doors. I need to seal one more door. So this is where it goes back to like the very start of the game. Now, like, would I do something differently? Yes, I probably would. Um... Hmm. I could swap with them. I'm just going to try something. Swap. Can I see them there? Swap. I can't. I definitely don't want to swap with that character. Um, let's move here. Swap. Charge. That's only going to cost two. Yeah, it takes it to nine. And then I can't do anything else. Okay. That character can't do the bite. It's once per encounter as well. Banks can seal off. Mm. I haven't really used Death's Door, which is all about additional... It's all about additional damage. Oh, hang on. Right. Steel mana from Jen, because they've got loads. What if I was to back it up to here? Take the damage. No. Use banks to transfer damage to the chapel cleric. Does it just take it? No. I'd have to do the dart first. Dart. Then come back. Then impaling vine. Then banks can... Spectral skull. But end up... It'll end up killing... No, it won't kill the character. We'll hit that guy for almost dead. Banks comes round... Seals the door. Dahl comes in, swaps with that character, charges the tracker to get their objective to then sense slam the last remaining character. 
Jen, who's yet to do anything, can broom breach. Then use static blast to then gain additional movement to then seal the door. That is tactical breach wizards. And my humble opinion is probably the way the game's supposed to be played. Try, redo, retry, try again. Very forgiving, but it's not an insurmountable wall. It's a series of little problems that you then work on individually and iterate from there rather than having to start from the very beginning. Zone one of two clear. Oh, I wonder what the second zone is. Well, we're probably going to find out, aren't we? Uh, 35 minutes. Maybe not. <laughs> We've got another one here. Um, there's two of them in there. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, can you help us take down more siege clerics? Uh, what does it pay? I just bought you back from the dead. Uh, if you did work without a contract, that's your problem. Uh, sort it out later. We have to get in there and stop them before they destroy the servers. How many do we need online for the broadcast to finish? One might be enough. I uh, don't want to cut it that close. Protect as many as you can. And uh, while walking... <laughs> while talking... While taking out two walking tanks, uh, armor guy is uh, kicking up a pay dispute. In summary, let's go. Yeah. Okay. There is the robots doing their thing. Wow. The optionals is resurrect teammates, living or dead, no mana left, cause nine bonus damage with brittle. So it's all about our new character. We have five characters now. Originally thought that adding more characters and more abilities, and bear in mind that these abilities can be customized. Like all of these here are unlocks. So you don't just get a default charge swap, slam, and throw block. You gain, like, oh, it now becomes a wall, so it can't be shot over. Or uh, it refunds if you do on friendlies when you do swapping or extra damage and all of that sort of thing. Um, so, yes, in spite of all that, it doesn't feel overwhelming. I was going to do this one, but it's already been long enough. So we're leaving it there for now. That's been a bit of Tactical Breach Wizards. If you want to see me attempt this one, I know these videos are not overly popular, but if you want to see uh, an attempt on this, then by all means let me know. Chances are I've already played and done it, but I will happily go back through if there is enough, if enough, uh, enough desire for that. Hope you have enjoyed this little look at the game. Quite difficult that last mission, but very rewarding at the same time. <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.